Hey, what's going on guys? James here. Today I want to make a video discussing how to hook up the Mother32 to a DAW like Ableton Live. So there are a few things you're going to need to get started with this. The main is a MIDI interface. So chances are you might already have something that has a MIDI interface built into it, like a synthesizer or Ableton Push or something like that. Now, if you don't happen to have one of these, there are options available. On Amazon, Best Buy, Guitar Center, anything like that, you can actually find a USB to MIDI input and output. Uh, it's a, you know, basically just like a cable with a USB on one end, little box in the middle, MIDI input and output ports on the end of the cable. It'll do the same thing, but uh, if you already have something with this built in, you might as well use that and save yourself some money. The next thing is a MIDI cable, and that's gonna be used to connect the synthesizer and the MIDI interface together so that the data can be transmitted between them. Uh, next is going to be an audio cable. It's gonna be quarter inch. So basically any instrument cable from like a guitar or maybe some speakers that you have that use this. It's the kind of standard for audio essentially with most synthesizers. So you might have one lying around. If not, they're relatively cheap. And lastly, what you're going to need is an audio interface. So you can use something like the microphone jack on your computer, but I would really recommend getting something like a dedicated audio interface just because signal noise is gonna be lower. And overall, it just has a lot more flexibility with recording. They can usually handle a lot more input and volume and everything, and there's a lot more control over them. So you can use your laptop, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Like I said, there's a lot of interference that usually comes with those. Dedicated hardware is always the way to go. So setting this up is actually really simple. It's just a matter of kind of connecting the puzzle pieces together here. So now that you have your MIDI output source, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect that MIDI cable into the output of that device. Then you're gonna connect the other side of that MIDI cable into the input of the Mother32. So now your MIDI interface is acting almost like a pass-through for information. So now our DAW is outputting data to the synthesizer or MIDI interface, whichever you're using, and then that data is being transmitted to the Mother32. So things like modulation, uh, pitch wheel, velocity, the actual notes themselves, sustain, all this stuff is being transmitted over the cable to the synthesizer, which can then use them to make the sound. Now, obviously we can't hear it yet because we haven't plugged it into the audio interface and that's the next step. So now that you have your quarter inch cable, all you gotta do is connect it into the quarter inch port on the back of the synthesizer. And then all you do is you connect the other side of that cable into your audio interface. So Ableton makes this really easy to set up. If you go into the instrument area, there's an instrument called external instrument. The external instrument makes it really easy to fine tune and connect all these inputs and outputs together to make everything work really easily. So before we do that, we just gotta make sure that everything is set up correctly. So if you go into settings and you go up to the audio settings here and you go into your hardware options, you just gotta make sure that your audio input is enabled so that you get the sound coming in from the synthesizer. We can close out of that, make sure everything is kinda of, you know, looking all right with our input buffer size and everything. Then we can go over to the MIDI section and make sure that our keyboard or MIDI interface is enabled and set up correctly. So now we can close out of that and go back to our external instrument. So now all we gotta do is set the inputs and outputs. So the output for me is the port two on my Venom synthesizer, which is just uh, basically a MIDI interface that outputs data. And then I'm gonna set the input to the right jack on my audio interface, which is this second jack over here. So now one thing you might notice is if you're playing notes, like say on your keyboard, or if you're laying out notes in the MIDI roll, you might notice that there's a little bit of a delay. So that's called latency. And obviously there's a time delay between when the computer actually sends the data to when the synthesizer kind of makes it and then sends it back to your audio interface, which buffers it and then puts it into your computer. There's a lot of processing that goes on that that takes time. So to make sure that we don't have any delay, what we have to do is sync up both the synthesizer and Ableton's clock. So if we turn on the metronome here and go and create a MIDI track, we're gonna put four bars here, one on each quarter note, which is gonna match the click of the metronome. So now when you play that MIDI track in the metronome, you're gonna hear that they're gonna be a little bit off. The synthesizer is gonna be a little bit behind. So what you can do is come down here to Ableton's external instrument and then start to play around with the latency offset here. What that does is that actually sends the MIDI data 
a few milliseconds early so that by the time the sound is rendered, it's perfectly in time with Ableton's clock. So all I gotta do is just keep moving that number up and down until you start to see these uh, notes being in sync with Ableton's clock. So once you find that perfect offset, you're really all set. You can go and create MIDI tracks, you can play it on the keyboard, everything is gonna be outputted into the synthesizer. So you can write out clips for like filter sweeps and stuff like that. You can use the velocity in Ableton with that assignable output. There's a lot of functionality that you can use with the synthesizer now that couldn't usually be used with other devices. So that's really about it. Like I said, it's relatively simple. It's just a closed loop with a few different interfaces. Um, you know, once you get those all connected, it's really simple. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions about what I said here, or if you need some clarification, just leave it in the comments below. If you guys like the video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.